Let's go. You're gonna have to excuse my rude head this morning. I let the boys shave my hair off last night and I haven't got around to tidying it up yet. than normal so I'm running out of time to get in position for the sunrise snapper so I need to get moving. How's the sunrise? I've just made it to my snapper spot here just chucked the anchor out burly bags in just chucked a soft plastic out on one rod a big dirty pilch it on the other and hopefully we can get a sunrise snapper and then I'm gonna punch it out a bit wider today to hopefully find myself a jewfish or a big baldy. Anyway, let's get some fish on. Hopefully I can get one snapper and then I'll pull anchor and I want to send it out a bit further. I've actually got my mate Paul with me this morning. I don't know if you can see him in the GoPro, but he's just out there in his tinny. Um, yeah, got the same sort of game plan. Once we either catch a snapper or once the sun's up, we're going to head out deeper and try find some big slobs. Burly bag is flowing. If that stinky old thing doesn't bring a fish in, I don't know what will. Bloody Paul over there, he's just yelled out he's on. Oh, he's got a double hook up, he just dropped the fish. He's only about 20 or 30 metres away from me. I've sort of ended up on the reef and he's just off the back. But that's a good sign, if they're there, surely they're here. And just like that, I'm in too. Beauty. Both of his rods just went off, and then mine's just gone off. Oh, what's happening? He's swimming at me. Mine's not very big, I don't think. Or he's doing weird things. Or is it a skippy for breakfast? I actually brought a lemon and um, a few crackers in that with me. So if I get a skippy, Oh no, it's a little snapper. Welcome aboard, buddy. You can go back though. See you, dude. Oh, my other little combo's on now. Hopefully, this is a skippy. Whoa. Oh, it's a tuna. Paul, I've got a tuna on. I reckon it was, man. It's like a little jelly bean tuna. That's on a soft plastic too. That's cool. Jesus. A bit chaotic. This is on the 1,000 size Stratic, so... I'm surprised he didn't actually go harder. Got him. You ripper. Tuna. Ball's on in the background there. Hopefully he's got a snapper. Alright, I'll get this one in the box. Oh, I just got a good hit on this rod. Yeah, fish on. He was swimming straight at me. Oh, he's jumping. What the hell is that? This must be a tuna as well. Yeah, it's a little tuna again. Tuna's on. How cool. How's that? Two tuna. I hardly ever catch tuna, so that's pretty cool. Little tuna on my snapper spot. Sick, I'll get them in the esky. They're gonna be delicious. Oh, hopefully the tuna leave this bait alone so I can get my snapper. Paul just got a good snapper there. When we pull anchor and move on, I'll go over and check it out, but it looked like a decent one from here. Same story, just as the sun's poking its head up, it turns to chaos inshore. Probably for, it won't last long, that might even be it done and dusted, but man, 
madness there for a minute. I just got bitten off as well, but I missed that on camera. But there's fish around. Bloody pools out there catching all the fish. So I got those two tunas. He's been bitten off a couple of times as well. And he's on again. So he landed that one snapper. And I reckon he's got another one on right now. Which is really interesting because we're fishing. What is it? We're fishing the back of the three mile here. And where I've ended up is on the reef and he's just off the back of it. So he's in the prime spot and it just goes to show the difference between the snapper. Yeah, we're only 25, 30 meters apart, but that's the difference. Surely I can get one though. I'm not too fast though, because we are going to head out deeper today. Snapper! <laughs> Holy crap, that is moving. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to try to take it easy on this, because I think this is... I don't know what this is, but that was absolutely flying, and we've been snipped off a couple of times. So I don't know if it's just a shark or if there's mackerel or something around. There is tuna about. You never know. I just realised I've got crackers and um, soy sauce on the boat, and I've just caught some tuna. So I reckon I'm going to have some fresh tuna crackers for Bricky before we send it out wider. Man, what is this? It's not really doing much now, but he took off like a rocket. Oh, he, oh no, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, I think it's a tuna actually. Look at the rod tip. Wow. If it is a tuna, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. Come on, buddy. Be nice. Paul, I'm on. I don't know. This thing's doing really weird things. Same colour. No way, it's a mackerel. It's a mackerel. And I'm on 30 pound litre. Oh, no. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Oh, no, it's a big tuna. Shit, I thought I'd seen a mackerel. Come here, buddy. Sick. Oh. Oh, hey, missed the net. Come back. Come back. Oh, I missed the net again. Come on, buddy. He's giving me the run around. In the net you go, mate. Oh my god! Got him! <laughs> you beauty, that's big man! Has to be some of the worst network I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, I got him in the end. Stoked, didn't get my morning snapper, but that's kind of good because I want to head out further and I've got no demersals in my box, so I'm still allowed to catch two if I wanted to. But if I could get out a little bit deeper and catch one baldy or dewy, I'd be absolutely stoked. Alright, 
while I make some breakfast with that tuna, I'm just going to drop this off the side of the boat. Little squid tricks. He can dangle away under the boat. Tuna on crackers for breakfast. Let's go. Well, I'm just going to knock a little bit of this tuna off. And look at that. I got crackers, soy sauce, and lemon. What I'll do, I'll put a little bit of sashimi on the crackers, bit of soy sauce on it for breakfast. And then what I'll do, I'll chop a little bit up, put it in this bowl here, squeeze, squeeze some lemon juice onto it. Let that sit for a little bit and then I'll just snack on that while I'm heading out a bit wider. taste oh man that is absolutely delicious Rum. Well, it doesn't get any more simple than that. Whoa, don't fall off. Sit up here, finish these off. Oh, it's so windy. I want to go wider. I think we'll still try, but it's pretty bloody windy. And I'm pretty satisfied right now. Stunning. I'm happy. Very happy. All right, I'll finish these and then I'll head over to see what Paul wants to do. But yeah, chances are we'll head out a bit wider and hopefully I can catch a demersal fish. Look at these, this guy. Keeps catching fish. I'm gonna go over him and screw his burly trail up and see what he wants to do. <laughs> so I'm going to go out just behind the three mile there, just drift around and I re still really want to catch a big whiting so I've just tied on like a, so like a larger whiting rig, little 3.0 hooks, big heavy sinker and yeah I might just head out there another couple of hundred metres and try find some bigger whiting, I will see you out there. Oh. I'm just drifting around for whiting on these little black magic rig and something a lot bigger than a whiting's just smacked it. Oh man, I don't know what this is. Surely it's not like a bloody jewfish or something out here. I'm in I don't know, 27 meters here. Come on. I don't know if this rig will be able to bring up a very big fish. It's pretty small hooks on it. But it's holding up so far. I'm drifting really fast. It's so windy out here. I probably need to put a sea anchor out. I'm very intrigued to know what this fish is. Come on, come up, come up. I actually think it's a good fish. I think it's a very good fish. I can't be far off colour. 
I'm hoping that wind noise isn't too bad on the GoPro because it's pretty crappy out here. So I'm only about a nautical mile off the back of the three mile. Oh, it's floating. Oh, it's a Dewey. <laughs> no way. I've got a Dewey out here. I'll show you this rig. It's definitely not for targeting Deweys. That's for sure. That was almost too easy. In you go, you ripper. So yeah, you're not allowed to fish with two hook rigs to target dew fish in that now, but I don't know. <laughs> it seems like an odd rule. Because I've caught a dew fish, but to me, I'd call that a whiting rig, without a doubt. The size of the hooks. If I got in trouble for catching that on that, it's pretty disappointing. Oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> Punched out that little bit further and I got my dewy. Quick measure up, I reckon it'll be legal by old rules for sure. Yep. Brilliant, 56, 56 centimetres. A little whiting rig, eh? Getting it done. He's not, the hook hasn't even gone through his lip. It's just in his lip. There you go, straight out. That's incredible. I couldn't get my snapper this morning. I had to sit there and watch Paul catch them. I did get tuna, which was cool. But to come out that little bit further and pick up a jewfish is just awesome. Absolutely stoked with that. Oh, I might go back over that patch and try again, I guess. So here I am driving around trying to find whiting. I only dropped on that because I looked at my sound, it had a little bit of fluffy stuff on the bottom and I thought, oh, hopefully that's whiting. Bang, jewfish. So I've just come up and I'm going to let the wind blow me back over that again. I'm actually going to put a proper jewfish rig on this time and see if I can get another one. All right, so this time I'm going a whole whiting on an Abrolis deep meat. A bit more of a proper setup for this style of fishing. I don't know if that was a big fluke or if it's a, I don't know, another good spot I've just come across. Didn't really look like much on the sounder though, but there was definitely a little bit of fluffy stuff, so that's why I dropped. Just getting a couple of touches. I'm just going over that lump again now. Something having a crack at my bait. It's so small, this lump, so. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, he just got off. Did he? I just had one on, Paul, I lost it. Paul's come out, he's drifting over it too. Alright, it's a tiny lump, it's really really hard to get on it. Especially if just one person in the boat. I'm going to have a couple more drifts and then I'm going to call it a morning and head on in. It's just about 9am now so I should probably get home. This time. Just had a few taps, I'm going right through it right now. Like I'm already coming out the back of it. It's such a small lump. Something having to play with my bait though. It doesn't feel very big though. Oh. Oh. Just drifting so fast. Yeah, fish on. Oh. Fish on. It's a good fish. No way, I'm on Paul. Oh, this is way bigger, man. Whoa. Yes. No way did I just find a new demersal spot while fishing for whiting. This is good fish, man. This is much bigger than that other Dewey. 
This was my second to last drift for the morning too, I just called it. This is on the Abrolis Deep Meat. Whenever I come out a bit further and use this, it always cleans up. Well, I think it's another Dewey, is it? It's a big Dewey! <laughs> big Dewey Paul! No way! Look at that fish! All right, let's get him in the boat. <laughs> you ripper. <laughs> Whoa, Joey on. Far out, oh, I'm going home. <laughs> well, it looks like I've gone and found myself a new Jewfish lump. That is sick, and that's not far from behind the free mile as well. Easily within my range. Absolutely stoked. You beauty. Big old Jewfish on the last, second to last drift of the morning. Well, that's the last one now, I'm going home. Job done, and it's Mother's Day next weekend, so it'll be a no fishing weekend, so I've got plenty of fillets in the freezer to get us through the next two weeks. Stunning. It goes 69 centimetres. Stunning fish. I'm out of here. Well, after getting that dewy, that wraps up the session. I'm done. It's just gone 9am now and it's time for home. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I never really come out deeper and sort of do the drifting for dewfish thing. Just then, looking for whiting, and I've seen a bit of a lump. Well, a bit of fluffy stuff, and I thought, oh, maybe that's whiting. Dropped on it, got a dewy. Tried a couple more times, three or four drifts later, bang, another dewy. So, there you go. If you're not looking, you're not finding spots, and that's only in 27 metres of water. And it's just a tiny, small, isolated lump. Anyway, I'm going to send it in. A fair old trek in. Home time, what a session.